quickly. Okay, we have that seventh degree. We have the first degree. We have the second degree. And we have the third degree. Okay, so we're gonna start from the third degree. Now this one is more difficult. So it goes, so that's a seventh, eighth, and tenth. Just for reference, okay? And then seven, nine, ten. 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10, okay? There's that G. Now, when you also know these, then you can put other notes from that scale degree inside of those chords so that you're not just playing the same old like G and just go well I just know this shape and maybe I know this note I also know this note that's a full G right there because I just added another G bass in that I could also uh, come up here and just add I've, now I've led off with a fourth, so I've got a, a G over uh, G over uh, C. So it's kind of weird. I mean, and that works, but see how your chords become more complex because then you understand like, oh man. So, so if you were, for instance, okay, so I want to write a song that starts with G. Well, you could write it like this. You're like, oh. That's a cool chord. Wow, that's different than, you know, or just, and sounds like a reggae chord, you know, but like, what if, what if I add these embellishments? Okay. That make the chords more complex. Okay. Okay. And then when we start to go into major sevens, you know, and you know in all these different voicings then you're kind of like okay now i know where those notes are coming from because here's what happens when we get on the internet is we go shape or we get a chord dictionary shape shape i don't shape shape you know and it's like well that's fine i was just watching that uh a, a thing from uh that pedal show you know you're familiar with mm. that and that guy uh, Mick, who uh, is is the dark-haired one, he's a he's a really good guitar player. He said he didn't know what a what intervals were in a seventh chord. I'm like, how can you not know? I mean, that's why you sound like you're just ripping off someone's blues licks when you're playing, because you don't know music. When you don't know music then everything starts to just sound the same. And and some people like Stevie Ray Vaughan are just really good at just playing the same licks over and over and he's just razor sharp and it sounds great. But I mean, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Stevie Ray Vaughan. So it's like, I, I don't need to hear a million Stevie Ray Vaughan. So, so like if you're thinking of cool ways to make chords, like I had a student just come up with a chord progression that he was like, he's like, He's like, Matt, what is that? So you taught me that major seven. And what is that? Well, I'm like, well, that's another, that's a, that's a ninth chord. It's actually a sus two chord, but you're adding a sus two with a major seven. It sounds really cool. Great idea. Okay. What key am I in? Well, it's D major. Well, and then he does this key change. I'm like, oh, well, you just changed to E uh, Aeolian in the middle of the, the, the song and it sounded really cool so well here's the thing like i want every student to do is to go from 
hearing cool things and going, okay, I hear that. That sounds cool. I'm, I can play that. I got a good ear. Okay, cool. But now let's use the analytical side of your brain and go, oh, but what if I did this? Like, I want you to be able to play a G and go, you know what? What if I added a sixth interval into a G? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Would that sound good? Yeah. Instead of just like, I'm gonna move my finger around until it may sound good, you know, which I've done a million times, every one of us does, but it's like, right. what if I make that? Okay, well, what if I add a seventh into it? Oh, that's cool. Cause I know where the seventh is. Wow, I could make a whole song off that to a C and then I'm just gonna I've never played that before in my life. You should play that sketch. <laughs> yeah, so it's like cool. Okay. So then you're thinking at intervals, but but it's a painfully slow process because I will say this, I also was hearing this from that pedal show. Because Paul Davids came on there, and Paul Davids, the YouTuber, you know, from Denmark or something. And oh yeah. Yeah, he's really good. And he's a teacher. And he said, he said, there's always that. No, was the other guy. Uh, anyway, but he said, he said, there's always that process of like, when you're an accomplished musician, you've played a long time like yourself, then you're like, you have to take all these steps back and do these baby steps. And it's so like, oh my gosh, this is boring. But just keep in mind, like it will pay off huge dividends if you just, like are sitting there watching TV and you're like, okay, what did Matt say for that first one? Okay, I'll do the first degree. And I'll just play that over and over again. On your, so the ones that you went through, Matt, um, the seventh, yes, first, seventh, second, third, yeah. okay. Um, that's what I should do. Yes. Okay, okay, I, yeah. that, that's good. That's it. That's the thing. Like you should do that until you're just so bored with it. And in fact, like I, I always say, get it, get something in front of you, watch some TV or something, get the muscle memory down. It's, I know a lot of people go, that's not smart, but I'm like, uh, it's what I do. It works. So, yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. So, so do that. Take your time. Do you want me to say what it is? I mean, I guess, or is that not as important as not as important muscle right memory? now? No, like just just go just go through it and 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 hear the pattern, because okay. here and and do not play it by ear because a lot of people will start going. They yeah, they'll make the mistakes. They they start that if you're starting from the fourth interval, uh, it's it's they'll think that their ear is starting from the first interval and they'll, they'll mess it up. So don't do that. Um, but does that make sense? It does. I mean, I'm, I don't know why I had this little bit of a block. I didn't understand. Um, I didn't understand. I can't put it together yet. I didn't understand like why knowing I figured basically you're just doing it different parts of the neck and then you're learning it kind of thing and I am kind of like that where I like I was that guy that learned all the different shapes yeah but I'm I'm not thinking like I'll play G four different ways in the guitar but I'm not going oh well that's the root or you know kind of thing um uh, anyway yeah you know well so, it'll help though do you, I hope I want you to see how it will help or else you'll be like, eh, I don't want to do that. You know? Um, no, I'll do it. Yeah. I, I'm still trying to understand. I think I still don't know. Um, it's just,